A circular economy is a good start. Yeah, we are using things, we you know, put them into products and then we use these products again and we make new products out of it. But it's not enough. Yeah. By the way, a circular economy is bloody boring. Yeah. It is just linear thinking in cycles. Yeah. Then I prefer traditional linear thinking, at least I end somewhere else. Yeah. Think about London Eye, yeah. it's just the same thing over and over again. And when you have the wrong things, yeah, take for example PET bottles, yeah. So and then people make PET bottles which are never intended to be recycled. They make new PET bottles out of it. But what next, yeah? So we first need to think about what is the right design. So we need to make the filter at the beginning, not at the end. Otherwise, circular economy just uh, makes a lot of extra costs. So this is why we talk about a cradle to cradle economy, which means we are thinking about all the stuff which is designed to be consumed, like food, like detergents, like shoe salts, like brake pads, needs to be designed to go in biological systems, in things which are just services, like a washing machine, like a computer, like a TV set, need to be designed to go into technical systems. So there is no waste anymore, everything becomes a nutrient. And if you understand a circular system, like a nutrient management for the biosphere and the technosphere, you can do so, but then it's not a circle, it's a sphere. Because, look, I don't want to be born again as a rabbit forever. Yeah? I want to learn from it. I want to do upcycling, not just recycling. I want to add more intelligence. I want to evolve. I want to use the, the abundance of solar input to make far more beautiful things, not just the same thing over and over again. This is bloody boring. Yeah? Brazil needs to use the sun far more than they use water because the water hydro plants have a lot of severe environmental and social negative effects. But we now can see that Brazil can make solar electricity with less than 10 cents a kilowatt hour. And this makes a lot of sense to do so. And because Brazil was quite slow at the beginning, they can learn from the mistakes of the other countries. So if you take a solar collector and you make this solar collector in Brazil, the solar collector at the beginning is 30% more expensive. But over a lifespan of 20 years, the, the Brazilian solar collector is 40% cheaper than a Chinese one because you can design it to use the materials again so you can use the best materials, not the cheapest ones. So you don't buy a solar collector anymore. So for your house, you don't buy it. You just buy the service of 20 years of using a solar collector. Then you can use far better materials and it will be much, much cheaper. And you see this in Australia. Australia is now closing down uh, coal power plants because solar is cheaper now. And there is never a bill from the sun sent to us, so we get the electricity for free to do so. And I think Brazil, with the, the great design which you have, with the great spirit, the, 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 the fun and the creativity and the abundance of sunlight, yeah, is definitely a great place to, to start with a complete different mindset, which celebrates life, not being about less bad. Yeah because for less bad we are too many people. Yeah. We think in the north it's good for the environment if we destroy a little less. Yeah. Uh, but you're not protecting your child when you beat your child only five times instead of ten times. So this is why let's, we talk about quality, innovation and beauty. And we now can use all this environmental debate as an innovation engine for Brazil, which makes endless jobs because the cradle to cradle products are about 20% cheaper than traditional products. Yeah in making it because you put the intelligence at the beginning, not in end of pipe technique at the end. Yeah.